Hi everyone, it's the Eric the Explorer here again. Thanks very much for last week. It really helped making a roof for my den. Now this week I've gone exploring again on the island and I've come across a really strange bridge. It works with heavy and light. And today we're going to be looking at things that are heavy and light and how we can measure that. I hope you can help me again. So here I was walking across this piece of wood to get to the other side and I came across this kind of bridge. Whoa, weird. What do you think it's for? Why do you think it's got buckets underneath it? So here I was walking across all these boulders, climbing across to get to the bridge, when suddenly I saw that the bridge was hanging down and there was an evil sloth the other side. And here, two stones. Have a look what he's done. He's put a stone in one of the buckets. Now look at the bridge. I can't climb on that. It's not flat or straight or balanced. I need to balance this bucket out. Do you have any idea how I can get this bridge straight? Oh, that's right. Good idea. If I add stones to the other side, maybe it will balance because they'll both weigh the same. At the moment, the white stone is heavier than the other side. But as I add more stones, they become balanced and equal. Is that balanced and equal? Not just yet. Maybe one more stone. Ah, now the bridge is flat and balanced and I might be able to get across. So that's three stones so far, three yellow stones for one white stone, but it's quite still not flat. There we go. Four yellow stones equals one white stone and they are balanced and they weigh the same. Time to get across this bridge and catch that evil sloth. Yes, made it. Thanks very much, year one. Now it's your turn to have a go at making the weighing scales. What you'll need is a coat hanger, some string. If you don't have any string at the house, maybe you could use some shoelaces. You'll be putting them back after. And two containers. I've used two bottom parts of plastic bottles, but you could use yoga cartons or two buckets the same. Anything as long as it's the same. To make your weighing scales, what you'll need to do is tie a little bit of string around the hook of the coat hanger. If you don't know how to tie knots, you can always use a little bit of sellotape and stick it on. But if you do, I've tried to show you how to make a knot here. Try to copy what I did in the video. So the string goes around the back and then through the loop and pull both ends tight. Let's try that again. It goes around the back and then bend it through the loop and pull both ends tight. Once we've tied the knot around the top, I need to tie my two containers to either end of the coat hanger, making sure that the containers are the same, remember, because they need to be the same weight and weigh the same. If you don't can't tie the knots here, it's okay. You can put a little bit of sticky tape to tape the two containers to either side of your coat hanger. Now we've weighed, made our weighing scales, what I want you to do is to test different things. What is heavier than what? Or what is lighter? Maybe test your toys. Which toy do you think is heavier? And which toy do you think is lighter? Maybe you could really set yourself a challenge, put a big toy on one side and see how many small toys 
make to balance out, that's a challenge.